If you're like me, you have seen Hatch sleep ads for a while. They have their original um, sound machine that has been out for quite a while, and then they just came out with the Hatch Restore. I was tempted because this model looks so much more visually appealing and sleek than the original model, so I went ahead and I bought it. And I hated it. So this review is going to tell you about why I didn't like it and also the things that made me not want to keep it that might, you know, impact your decision to buy it. I will say though that I did reach out to them and they sent me a prepaid label with no issues. So it's not like I'm stuck with this. I'm just giving you my feedback. So first off, comes in this really nice package. Cool. You get this set of instructions, which is fine. Step one says to plug it in. Okay. Step two, download the app. No problem. Step three, you're going to basically connect your hash sound machine to Bluetooth. I had issues with this setup part and I am pretty tech savvy. It recognized my device right away in the app, but it just wouldn't move through that process. I opened the app up. I selected my restore just like this picture and it just kept staying on the loading page. I probably hard closed the app and repeated this process four or five times. And that's not a big deal, but it definitely wasn't seamless. So once I finally got everything all paired up, I opened the app up and I looked around. I even signed up for the free trial that they have so you can get all of their features where you get the sleep stories and the meditation and all of that, just so I could see. I really wasn't impressed with the amount of content in there for me and the way I go to sleep. I want my sound machine to come on at a set time every night. I don't want to have to push a button to trigger anything because there are some nights where I fall asleep and I'm not in a perfect sleep routine, which all oh, my dryer's done. Um, and so I don't want to have to press a button to trigger a sleep routine. And with this, you have to. Oddly enough though, there's an alarm feature which comes on at a set time, but there is not a set time feature for this, for the sleep function, you would have to press the rest button and then it would trigger whatever routine it is that you have set up, whether that's lights, whether it's sound, whether it's like something that leads to a sound that stays on all night. So this is just one of the settings that I had set, put it, put it on and I just didn't love it. I didn't feel like the quality was worth $200 sound wise. I hate that I have to press this button. And I know for most people that's fine, but there are people out there like me who are not going to want to press a button. I wanted to come on when I know I might have fallen asleep so that the sound will keep me asleep. And there's no capability to do that with the hatch restore. So I think you press it again to stop it. I honestly used it once and hated it. So I was done. So there's a rise routine, which I don't care about. And there's a sleep routine, which again, I just didn't want this at all based on the fact that I have to press a button to trigger this. So again, that was my biggest takeaway. I don't feel like it's worth the money because of the sound quality. It's not that great. It's fine. It's definitely not worth $200. I don't feel like the content on there is definitely worth paying for. And I also don't like... Um, that you have to press the buttons. So I think I repeated myself, but it is what it is. I like the look of it. I feel like the sound quality could be better. The price point is too high for what you get and you have to pay for a membership to get all the features, which again, isn't all that much. And I hate pressing the button. So again, that's my two cents. The, re the return process is pretty easy. I'm going to complete that now uh, after making this video, but I just don't love it. And to be honest, I got this sound machine from Amazon. That's better. I like this one because you can have a little light or not if you want. You can increase the volume. There is an app for this and it's just white noise. It's a fan. You can increase or decrease the tone, which again for me and what I want, this works perfectly well for. And the reason it's over here and not near my bed is because there is a handout in the sleep machine or the sound machine. And it said, don't put sound machines close to your bed because there are decibel ratings that you actually exceed that are damaging to your ears. So I found that very interesting. I had never thought about that. And the hatch tells you to put it right next to your bed. So this says to put it, put it away from your bed and it actually has a decibel reading uh, measurement 
tool in the app so you can see how loud your sound machine actually is because over time, if you're listening to something that you think sounds soothing, it actually might be damaging to your ears. And so that's a new thing that I wasn't aware of at all. So this is called a snooze. I'll link it in the description. If you're like me and you want something to come on automatically that has good sound quality, that you can adjust the tone and volume for, set schedules for, and doesn't have too many bells and whistles, this is gonna be right up your alley and it was $99. So. That's my take on the Hatch Restore and why I didn't like it.